So, Sam, you've yes. probably heard of Dan Q by now. <laughs> I think so, yes. If you haven't, you've, you've been under the water recently. So, <laughs> they're releasing a brand new cube, a brand, mm. new, a brand new special edition cube known as, are you ready? The yeah. GAN 356 MSE. Ooh, very interesting. So you've got an image of it right here. Mm -hmm. It's It looks, like straight off the bat, it looks like a GAN 11 M4 with capsules. Except but, it isn't, as we'll yeah. come into in a second. So yeah, first impressions, they're using the same plastic, the 356 M um, capsule things, magnets. And uh, yeah, I think this is for Chinese New Year as well. It is. Yeah. Okay, so... So let's talk into some details. So first things first, the box design. Yes, we always have to talk about our boxes. On yeah, I, I do like my boxes. <laughs> so we've got the, the, the box with the nice scattering letters across the um, yes. the box. Very MGC-like with the MGC7. Kind of like that. Yeah. Not, yeah. not directly comparable, but still. And then the red tinted 356X box. They're actually using this box as the new norm for their cubes, I've noticed. Because yeah. oh, so. they used it for their GAN Scuba mm -hmm. and uh, their GAN um, X. X and yeah. obviously some of the cubes. So definitely going to keep the 11M Pro um, box for probably their flagships. I agree. To keep that agree, premium man. feel. Yeah, okay, you talk about boxes. We'll, we'll move on from boxes. Yeah. <laughs> where you've got like an obsession with boxes, but... We'll move on. Uh, so we have the piece design here. It's pretty much the same as the GAN 356M, except they've revamped it with the new primary internals. They've got this fancy um, uh, system which holds the magnets in place. They're obviously not capsules. They're like more just magnets held in place. Um, so they're not replaceable, they're fixed, just as the 356M was, uh, but with, just with this new primary internals and the honeycomb sign as usual. Anything to say there? Um, nothing in particular because obviously it's just a, so far it looks as though it's just a 356M with primary internals. Indeed. So moving on, we can see they've got... GS nuts. Yes, yeah, GS nuts. Yeah, so we've seen these quite a lot. It's in like near enough every GAN flagship before the XS or um, the M had it as well. So it's purple the weakest and then yellow's the tightest. And um, uh, it's going to come with the yellow pre-installed, but it likely will come with a set of other colour GS nuts. So it's got 0, 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. 0 0.6 being the tightest, 0 0.8 being the loosest, and 0 being to remove the the nut. So what are your thoughts on this GS system? Oh, uh, so the whole GS system, I think it's good they kept it, because I actually like this. It yeah. brought a whole new range of customizability. Hmm. To the, to the desk, should we say? Yeah. Okay. And um, I think it's great that they're, they're still including this in their three fifty six M. That's an interesting thing to mention, actually. So, the the whole zero point six zero point eight thing, I'm not a fan of. The zero point six is typically quite nice, but the zero point eight is usually way too loose for many people. Um, so it does minimize options in terms of tensions, but it does improve options for compressibility. Yeah. So, I'm not a big fan of the GS system. I much prefer the, the one in their flagships nowadays, with the light blue in the top. But obviously, this is a mid-range cube. Mm. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see. So, moving on, the core, as you can see here, pretty much the same. Nothing special here. And they've got the... It, they've, they're showing the, the blue GS nuts being installed here. Yes. So, that's probably going to be the, the setting that it comes with. Yep. And then the piece design here. You can see all the pieces nicely interacting there with each other. The primary internal is definitely standing out in this picture. And then obviously this cap design so that when you're removing pieces, you can remove the whole thing as one piece. Yeah. As opposed to three separate caps. So I think that's slightly easy to do. I've tried it out on the 11M Pro and it's not as difficult to do. Uh, but still not the easiest thing to do in the world, but it is very secure, which is good. Um, so move on to more piece design images. So, very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. The pieces interact nicely. I think yeah. so far, from all the images we've seen, 
Um, I like the cap design, the whole you take the cap off in one piece. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so far, the cube's looking really good. Okay, yes. so moving on. So, final image with the box. Yeah, and... box and cube. Yes. As I said with the box, the box is looking really, really nice. It is. And the cube equally is nice. Not as impressive because we've seen stuff like that before, but yeah. still, still pretty good. In terms of accessories, we have the pouch, the cube, the GS nuts and the pamphlet. That's just fairly standard stuff. I'd you'd see in most cubes. I've actually just the realized. Box. It says the GAN box V3. Yeah, I was just about to point that out. So they've made, they've been making big strides in their box development recently. So this GAN is pride the themselves in making boxes. Doesn't, doesn't that make their GAN 11 M Pro box the V5? If this is the V3. If this is the V3, that makes the GAN box the V5. No, the I think. Box. This or is this the V3. Inch? No, this is the. Yeah, change. Okay, you've, you've seen, we've already gone back to the box again. We are box enthusiasts. Enthusiasts. Uh, yeah, so various boxes, pouches, pamphlets, standard stuff. Um, and then we've got the feature design, which when we have a look at the translation, comes out at this. So it's pretty much comparing all the, the latest cubes and the like, properties. So it's not as light as the flagships. It's like... M stands pretty much for mid-range in this case. Yeah. So it's right in the middle of the road in everything. A quick thing to point um, out. Yep. It says um, on the 356 Air Smart, second class, it says Hive 1 generation. Mm-hmm. Then, then it says Hive 2 generation on the, the X. I think, the that's Hive, the, I think that's the that? um, honeycomb uh, design. So they've been, they've been secretly improving it? Or is it just possibly, slightly... Possibly. I think the way they put the honeycomb is the improvements. Ah. Because yeah. now it's pretty much going all over the place, in which case it's a Hive 2 generation. Possibly. I don't know. Mm. I'm no expert on Hive and Slides. So, yeah, the big so. talking point MS3 or MSE? I'd probably say in this case, MS3 is showing more strides. MSE yeah. is pretty much just a special edition 356M. So if you've got the 356M, this probably won't be much of an upgrade. It's just like for those that don't have a mid-range GAN cube. Yeah. Um, so at this point, I'm preferring MS3 because it's more original, of course. Uh, but what do you think? Okay, so <clears throat> I I kind of like the idea of the, the MSE. Yeah. But not in... Not compar- not in comparison to the MS3 because right. the MS3 is looking beastly at the moment, it and is. I like the way it looks. I like the marketing design, and I think they look pretty great so far. So I think okay. this might be a controversial decision, but I think the MS3 is going to come out on top, like you said, because the MS3. How is that? I wouldn't say that's controversial. <laughs> Being sponsored by Gan, you and you get a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah. Okay. I think because this is their first cube, they're obviously going to boom in the market. But the fact it's getting mm-hmm. main worthy um, responses is just showing yeah. that it's, it's pretty good. So I think yeah. MS3, all the way. Definitely. Okay, so let us know down in the comments below what you think, MSE or MS3? So will this start this like big mid-range war? We don't know. Uh, but except we we know some stuff from GAN that are on the way. Um and their plans, so we kind of know the answer if it's a yes or a no uh, for the next three months at least. But let us know down below what do you think about these mid-range cubes. I'm honestly there, be sure to hit that like button, not the dislike button, the like button right next to it. That will be greatly appreciated, make it shine blue. And hit that subscribe button, that will be greatly appreciated also. Very interesting. Indeed.